Okay, it's the sand dollar here this morning. It is uh, September the 8th. Time is 6.45. Uh, we got a sun, sunrise coming. A little bit cloudy. Uh, I'm not metal detecting today. Today's a vlog. Uh, on Thursdays I do uh, my six mile walk and talk with God on the beach. I walk six miles and I start at 5.30 and I'm up to halfway point so I'm uh, you know I'm gonna be done here another hour unless I run into somebody I talk to so if you see his camera jumping around it's because I'm walking uh, <laughs> I want to talk to you you know it's September and Normally, here in Volusia County, uh, on my end, my end of the side of the inlet from Ponce Inlet, uh, it's the time of year when pot washes in on the beach, you know, marijuana pot. So, I remember when we were kids, before they had, where you banned driving on the beach at nighttime. Uh, we used to, us kids used to ride up and down the beach all night long about this time of year and look for bales of pot that washed in. And I'm not going to say there was or there ain't. But there may have been one or two that may have floated in my way. You know, I mean, we're talking 45 years ago. And, uh, you know, I know that summer, <laughs> me and a buddy and a couple other friends, we went to concerts all the time, served gas for our trucks, bought tools and all kinds of things. It was a fun summer. Nowadays, uh, meaning you're not allowed to drive on the beach at night time because some jerk from Orlando got drunk up and ran two people over. So they stopped it. Plus the fact that cops got smart and figured out what us kids were doing so the last few days there's been on my beach a bunch of pot washed in now as the sun comes up I'm going to show you these cops ride down here and look for pot if they find it they pick it up put it back in their truck well, let me tell you, and this is a fact. Say they find a 100-pound bale. Well, only half of it gets reported. They take the other half for themselves and sell it. Because years ago, when I was a teenager, we used to buy pot from cops who would pull somebody over and constantly confiscate it or do a drug raid and, and confiscate a bunch of pot that way. And then they'd turn around, keep half for themselves, and sell it on the street. So I know this for a fact. And I don't know if you see them car lights coming. That's a beach patrol. And that's what he's doing. He's riding down here looking for bales that may have floated in overnight. And then you'll see him here come on ATVs to do a more thorough search. So, when they get up here, so that's what they do. You know, talk about dishonest cops down here in Volusia County, really all Florida. Now that there's cameras involved, more and more of them are getting caught. They're a bunch of good old boy hicks that, uh, you know, they, they'd uh, bend the rules to fit their needs or pin some kind of bullshit bogus charges on you. Just like this uh, Mike Chitwood that's uh, our head sheriff now. He, uh, he's about as crooked as they come. <laughs> Talk about somebody bending the rules to fit his needs. And, uh, and that's the thing, man. My sister, she's retired now. 
she be became a uh, deputy sheriff for Brevard County. And uh, when she was sheriff, we didn't see eye to eye. When she first became sheriff, the cops were her family and her real family was, was crap. I mean, that's the way she treated us. You know, so. We, uh, we still talk, but we definitely ride. And, and once it's and bred into them, they got it for life. You know, I mean, she, uh, been retired now six years but she served 25 on the force and it's, it's been you know uh, brainwashed into her so I mainly come down here to uh, do my weekly walk and talk with God and look for sand dollars I mean that's my nickname sand dollar so you know I have a wall of them so if I don't find one then God didn't bless me that day with finding one. However, uh, it also uh, builds up my legs for uh, when I'm metal detecting in soft sand. Because uh, soft sand sometimes, down here on my beach, it's like sugar, like powdered sugar. And it, you know it's not coarse granule sand, and uh, sometimes it gets real hard to walk in, especially in the heat of the day. So that's what I do. So, like I said, here's coming this cop. I might be turtle patrol. A turtle turtle patrol. Uh, turtle season's over in October 11th, I think. So the beach would be wide open from uh, sunrise to sunset. But until then, it's not. Yeah, this is the turtle patrol. So they're not looking for pot, they're looking for turtle. So getting late in the season for them to lay eggs, but they, uh, Still got a few that hadn't hatched yet, so I guess that's what they check on. So, all right, well, the sun's coming up, a few clouds. You know, I feel sorry for the people in uh, Carolina with Florence, Hurricane Florence, but I've been there, done that. You know, been through some pretty bad ones here. You know, I was born and raised in my city, so. I feel sorry for them if they don't know how to prepare because this damn sure gonna kick their ass. But so anyway, let me get walking a little bit more and if I see something interesting I'll turn you back on and let you know. Like I said, I'm more or less looking for sand dollars. But a little bit of pot came my way I ain't gonna turn it down either I mean it's free money so but my luck ain't that good so I doubt that happened you know things things like that you know it's a once in a lifetime thing and I've done had my once in a lifetime thing so we'll uh and I still got to 45 minutes and approximately two and a half miles to go out of six. So, I'll let you know if I hit any, anything good comes up or a fine sand dollar or I think of something else to talk about. Oh, I know one thing. I ain't metal detecting this week because the beach has been picked over. Yeah, well, it's after Labor Day, but we got this lesbian woman down here, retired Coast Guard captain or whatever she is, and uh, she uh, years ago started some trouble out there in the river with a bunch of commercial fishermen, 
and petitioned Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission to put a regulation on shrimp nets for the commercial boys in the river. And I was one of them at the time. So you're not allowed to use monofilament nets now. You got to use cast uh, cloth nets, and they can't be three eighths webbing. They have to be five inch or half inch rather. So I mean, you lose a lot of your catch. And of course, she pissed off so many people that they ran her ass out of the river. Well. Now she's on the beach metal detector. And what she's been doing, and uh, I've noticed from, for a fact, because last two hunts I went, I didn't find nothing. Well, come to find out is the last two, or uh, she's been coming down here in the middle of the night. Well, uh, you know, from like 10 o'clock at night till 1 or 2 in the morning. And she comes down here with like 10 other women. I guess they're all lesbians, who knows. But they, uh, hey, look at this at work again. I don't know what it is, but. Huh. I don't know what that is. Piece of a bucket. So anyway, she uh, working all the hot spots on the beach with these, these other women. She's teaching a class. Like we need more metal detectors learning how to do it. There ain't enough to go around as it is. Of course, it's not illegal doing what she's doing. There's no law against it. Except she's raping the beach for everybody else and the thing is she's pissed off a lot of people because I mean there's nothing she's just wiping the beach clean so the thing is is that she uh she pissed off some old boys that are seriously looking for her I mean, they're looking to find out what kind of car she drives and everything. So, we'll see how that turns out. But, it's one thing to, and then another thing to be greedy about it. So... So that's why I haven't found hardly anything uh, in the last two hunts. And I didn't go this week because, well, tide was wrong Monday. And, and next time I go out, I'm going to be using my Garrett Sea Hunter. But I'm going to head to my secret spot too. Um, maybe one or two people will know about it, but I don't think too many. So, and after the storm surge, now we're not getting this hurricane, but we will have a uh, storm surge today of six to 10 feet. So I got a buddy who's a surfer boy and he's loving it. So, uh, I just seen a piece of a sand dollar. Well, I'm hoping to find a whole one. Hoping God will bless me. You know, it's real warm wind right now but the wind is coming from the northeast these last day or two because of uh, Hurricane Florence and once in a while you'll catch a, a cold breeze come across your back because I'm walking back south now to the truck and uh, you'll come across that cold breeze so it won't be long we'll start getting a bunch of northeasters cool things off because this air right now is so hot and muggy. I mean, it's heavy. You can feel it, how heavy the air is today. So, 
Yeah, so I see my first piece of a sand dollar. And I'm in a prime spot to find them. But I know low tide was at 4.30 this morning. High tide's around 11.30, so tide's coming in. But other than that one piece of a sand dollar, haven't seen a whole lot. Usually I see a bunch of pieces, but not today. All right, well, let me uh, get back to walking and if I see something interesting, I'll turn you back on. Okay. There's a rain cloud right there. I don't know if you can see it. There's bands of uh, rain coming down from it and it's getting closer to shore. So I'm probably going to be hit with it here in a few minutes unless I take a break maybe to pass by. But it's coming and it's coming quick. So, so far I haven't found no sand dollars. I'm about uh, a mile and a half away from my truck. So, let you know we'll hit one. I just found a fishing lure floated in on the beach. Still got a rubber cap on the hook, so I don't know if it's been used or not. It's been out in the ocean a while. A little bit of rust on the on the head right here, the eyelet, but uh, cool. I was hanging on the wall with my collection. Well, I don't know if you can see this very well. Let me pick it up. There's half of a sand dollar. It was a big one too. See how big it is? So saying it wasn't a whole one. But I'll keep looking. Well, I'm almost back to my truck. Another 10 minutes. So I want to thank you guys for watching my videos and walking with me this morning. So, I hope you enjoy the video, but it wasn't about metal detecting, but other subjects. You know, I want to clarify why pot floats in on the beach. Because airplanes fly over and dump, dump their cargo to big shrimp boats out in the ocean. And, uh, when they do that, the shrimp boats scoop them up in the nets. Well, sometimes want to get by them where they don't they don't uh, get it in the net. And then it floats in on our beach. And like I said, this time of year is harvest season for a lot of people. So you know it, it's very plentiful this time of year to. Uh, be dropped in the ocean and shrimp boats pick it up, bring it to shore, sell it, da 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 da. So that's how it happens. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and my next video will probably be metal detecting. If I can find a spot that these uh bitches hadn't done yet and raped the beach, but we'll try to figure out something. Talk to you soon.